Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Before we get into the Student Hangout podcast, there are a few important points I want to make. Number one, if you'd like to join our student family and you'd like to be a part of our students and study the religion alongside them, then all you have to do is click the link below and join our Telegram group for more information and hopefully we can get you on to one of our courses ASAP. The second thing is if you are one of the students on the Knowledge College already and you'd like to be on the next episode of the Student Hangout, then please send us an email to the email on screen. You can also find this email in the information section below, inshallah ta'ala, and we'd love to get you on. Pri primarily right now, we're only opening this up for the brothers. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine there are a few issues getting sisters on the camera, so for the brothers, but the sisters, we'd like to hear about your progress and feedback from you as well, inshallah ta'ala. So feel free to email us anything that you want to say. With that said, let's get into the podcast. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, guys. And welcome back to the Student Hangout. This is a show where we bring brothers who have embarked on the Islamic Studies program and we ask them a few questions just to get to know them better. Things like why they start seeking knowledge and how it affected them on their day to day. So, without further ado, we've got two of our favourite lads that flew in from <laughs> Ireland. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Assalamu alaikum. We've got brother Talha on the left okay, and brother okay. Jamal from overseas, man. <laughs> how you guys doing, man? Alhamdulillah, so, Alhamdulillah. Give the audience a little bit of something, man. You two are two Salafis. Alhamdulillah. 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 Manhaj al Naqida. Alhamdulillah. In a little island called Ireland. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Do I get going? Basically, Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Amma bad. Wallah, Alhamdulillah. Um, I grew up in Ireland. I'm from Iraq originally. My, subhanAllah, my parents were originally Shia. And yeah, Allah, I, work, I did not even know that, bro. Really? No. Subhanallah. Yeah, my parents were originally Shia. Growing up, Alhamdulillah, before I was born, they reverted to Sunnism. Oh, alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, and um, they grew up on the on the correct manhaj, on the correct aqidah as well. Alhamdulillah, and they brought us into that, you know. But in Ireland, there's not much Salafi da'wah. Would you'd say like mm -hmm. um, it's kind of just the da'wah is all over the place. I'm not gonna lie. So. Joining the knowledge college, Allah Mubarak, Alhamdulillah, has kind of. Are you guys kind of? Are you guys surprised? You know, when you log into lessons, you see that there's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. But like, have you even tried to ask if there's anyone from Ireland? No, we we kind of we, we, we kind of just know there's no. Kinda, <laughs> like, no. Oh, okay, so like everyone everyone I, knows each other. Basically. Yeah, Ireland's yeah. very small. So it's very small. Yeah, yeah. Know, I mean, inshallah, if there's any Salafis watching this, man, like, inshallah, reach out, man, yeah, reach out, man. The brotherhood's strong. We're trying to build upon it, make this worldwide. Isn't there? Definitely, inshallah. Definitely, inshallah. And yeah, and we've got brother Jamal here. Where are you from originally, bro? I'm um, half Mozambique and half Irish. Oh, okay, yeah, Allah, yeah, yeah. what a mix, what a mix, yeah, man. Yeah. So we we actually know each other from Umrah. Mm. Right? No. Nah. Ah, it was a magical experience. Subhanallah, yeah. I was so experienced. Oh, Allah. Magical, magical. Was it, was it you? I never asked, was it you guys his first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my first time. Was, was his first, first time or was my second time? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So, okay, cool. Let me ask you this then. Yeah. How has seeking knowledge, if you were seeking it prior yeah. to Umrah, did you feel like it affected your Umrah? Did you feel like, obviously, you felt like you kind of knew what you were doing, you understood it more, you had more of a connection? Yeah. Sort of thing? Well, the first time I went was. Um, Ramadan and I was I was practicing but I wasn't how, seeking knowledge I wasn't seeking knowledge exactly I was I loved the deen <coughs> I loved practicing the deen but I wasn't really kind of trying to go out and seek knowledge you get me so the second time around when I went with with the guys with the five star Umrah group uh, I start, so before that I started seeking knowledge mm. and subhanallah it's completely different I remember story. I remember when Safa Marwa you said something profound to Imran you were like, yo, I didn't stand and and make that much idea, uh, yeah, 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 and yeah. that much du'a yeah, when you were doing that, and it's like, yeah, it's surprising. 100%. All these little nooks and cracks that that you know, man, it's, like, it's beautiful. And and what about yourself? Were you did you start seeking uh, knowledge prior to Umrah? Or? Yeah, I, I I joined up on the the knowledge college uh, from the very start from September. Okay, yeah. September twenty two. Yeah, September. Okay, year one, right? Yeah, year one. And year one, you don't. Yeah, year one yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, okay, cool. So, did you get up to Bab al Umrah? No, oh, okay. la, la. Ah. I think that time there we were on uh, Bab al Tahara. Oh, 
Bahara. Bahara. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very yeah. techy. I remember the first time I got introduced to fiqh and I was thinking, yo, like, why, why are we studying about water? <laughs> so, <I> mean, <laughs> well, yeah. Do you ever think that there's sometimes there's some babs that you don't think is applicable to this day and age? Mm. And then later on, in your normal day to day, you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, this this definitely. is applicable. Do you yeah, know 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, definitely. 100%. A lot of times it's like that, bro. A lot of times you see, you hear of a hadith, you hear of situations in the past, and like, there's no way this can apply to me. Mm. Same day, subhanAllah, Allah will show you that. Allah will Allah apply to you. Subhanallah. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true, subhanallah. true, subhanallah, man. Yeah. So what would you guys say is your favorite, like, your favorite subject studying currently? Uh, definitely for me at the moment, it's fiqh. Fiqh, yeah? Yeah. 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 How comes? Well, I just, I don't know. I, I found a subject, subject I connected with the most. Yani, and I find it easier, easier to take the information and usually stays there. Mm. Whereas other subjects, uh, you have to put a bit more effort in. But, uh, you know my theory? My theory with regards, with regards to fit yeah. at least, is that is at least the subject when you are studying in knowledge college or Islamic studies, um, is that it's the quickest that you can apply it. Do you get it? So the first bab is what? Water. So now when you're approaching a tap, you're like, okay, cool, this is mm. clean, yeah. this is buhur. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, yeah. salah, takbir tihram, and so on and so forth. Do you get what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. But I mean, we tend to like forget aqidah, do you get what I mean? Or even kitab or tawheed, and that's the inner belief. Like a lot of the youth, unfortunately, and a lot of people fall victim to this is that they commit minor shik, not understanding. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How's, that, how's that like over the river? Is that yeah, the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do they like, swear on potatoes? Even like the man <laughs> like was just saying, oh, I swear on my. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Gonna, Family members' lives. Literally, and these are practicing Buddhas in, yeah. the, in, the, in the mosque. Five prayers and swear on their mom's life. Swear. Or just they're saying Jesus. Uh, that, that's yeah. a big thing in Ireland. I'm not, I'm not sure about UK. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We got a few fringent, but not not, yeah. not so much. Not but so much. Yeah. Man. So even if the Muslim brothers practicing, mm. you know what I mean, above the ankle, like they're saying Jesus. Uh, Allah jalla yeah. Subhanallah. Uh, no. And uh, you said something there as well, uh, which is um, which is very important. You touched upon. You said that there's fi- like we kind of get deep into the fiqh, but we forget the. Tawheed, Aqeed and stuff mm. like that And subhanAllah That's that's where most of the major differences are In the, sev- mm. like in the yeah, so-called Muslim sex You get me? Yeah, of course, of course. And um, this day and age It's like All the differences Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna If you're If you believe Okay, this water is ta- I can mm. make the wudu with this water I can't make wudu with this water We're not gonna be arguing over that day and night mm. But if you're, if you're saying that Yeah, but I can I can kind of negate Allah's uh, Allah's attributes. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I can't really associate with you like that. And and it's funny because a lot of like the people of the Zaira they they tend to make it seem as if an aqidah issue is just like a fiqh issue. No. Like Allah it's just Allah a different Allah method. Allah, 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 may Allah protect us from that. I mean, may Allah keep us firm. So Talha, what would you say is your favorite subject and why would it be hadith? <laughs> 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 just to, just to touch off on the subjects that we had. <laughs> Yeah, just to touch up on the subjects that we do in the Islamic studies program, because <laughs> it seems like we only do fiqh, but no, yeah. no. So actually, my favorite subject is Kitab al Tawheed. Yeah, but but I love learning Ta'zim al Ilm more than Serious. Kitab al Tawheed. Oh, sick! Especially bec- for me, it's because of the teacher. To be honest with you, okay. Yeah, Stad Yasser, Allahumma barik, Allahumma. Allah. His way yeah. of teaching, Allahumma barik. He's kind of very engaged. What what is it that stands out for you? <sighs> He kind of, he he the way he explains the book, it's like he's explaining it to a five year old, mm, yeah. and I love that. Mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Wallahi, yeah, I yeah. love that. He the way he breaks it down, the way he sketches it out, he goes into so much detail, and I think it's so important. I think it's so important, especially for people that are just kind of starting up to seek knowledge. The way his style of teaching, Allahumma bar. So would you say that this course is like something that's digestible, something that is one hundred percent. So you 100%. don't have to be someone who's like studious, no, who's no. already been studying. No, it's only one no. hour a day. I think Four if you're, a week. I think if you're a Muslim, sorry for cutting you mm-hmm. off. I think if you just literally reverted into Islam, okay, sign up to the knowledge college. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You will. That's all you need. Yeah. To to put you yeah. on that on that on that. Uh, what would path. you say about age then? Age. Yeah. Did you say there's an age range? Because I was asking a few brothers on um, a while back on a few other episodes. Yeah. You know, I was asking them. Um, I believe like an eight, nine, ten year old could actually sit this course. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's too comprehensive? No, you, you know what it is. Yeah. I think it could be. I, I take the opinion of like um, Ustad uh, Abdul Rahman Hassan and Ustad Tim Humble. It really depends on the on the child. If he's mature and yani you he's he's memorizing Quran here and there. He's mm. he's nice. He's well behaved in the in the madrasa etc. He, he he'll get on grand in the program. You know it's. 
there's so many onion problem, you know. Mm. Mm. Okay, how about how about a common a common ten year old <coughs> from Ireland? Nah, no way. Nah. Not on it. Uh, I don't think so. It depends. It really depends on how that. He won't do nothing, lad. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> what? I was terrible, Moski. Don't so, try that again. <laughs> <okay>. uh, <laughs> Ali, <laughs> Ali, uh, <laughs> 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 Ali. The accent. Ali. The accent to, to the rules, not the food. No, but I think it's subjective to the, to, to the child, bro. Well, it depends on the I think any average 10 year old You won't be able to do Okay what's the age gap What's any the age cap you'd say 14 year old I'd say 14 14 Yeah that's that's the Like min Yeah Yeah, yeah. minimum 14 mm, Yeah But you will get the 10 year old That's a long body group The way he grew up You know And he, it will be good for him mm. uh, Yeah definitely Definitely Yeah uh, yeah. Okay cool Let me ask you something about um, <coughs> Umrah then Yeah well, What would you say you preferred more Well not preferred of course But where, where does your heart lie? Mecca or Medina? <laughs> I, I, what are you saying? To be honest, I'm being honest, yeah. <laughs> like, before I went, everyone was telling me, like, Khalas, where do you see Medina? But I didn't believe them because, like, yani, Mecca is, yani, the mm. Kaaba is there. Yeah. You know what I mean? SubhanAllah. Like, mm. the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and his companions, they fought for that place, you know what I mean? And then, you tell me Medina. So, but, wallah, when I went to Medina, SubhanAllah, it's, it's, wallah, it's true. Wallah, you just look around, you see everyone, so peaceful. Yani, you see the kids. Uh, yani they finished Quran Now they're on uh, Matun Talib Yo that's actually true man yeah. When you go inside the, uh, Masjid Nabawi During Duhra and Asr You <coughs> see little circles of knowledge yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they look like little sheikhs Wallah. Yeah, wallah. Wallah, like, Even that, that child He doesn't know how fortunate He yeah. doesn't understand wallah. Wallah. Wallah, 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 wallah. But like how fortunate They are just chilling yeah. there Do you get what I'm saying wallah. And it's like yeah, and they're about roughly 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. They could do that there. I'm pretty sure that people can jump for this course. <laughs> I believe I believe in our youth. See, see, that's the thing, though. That's, that's the way they grew up, isn't it? Like, if you, mm. you kind of... If you don't get a grip of your kids growing up, mm. especially in a place like here where it's so easy to do- fall off, so easy to just get, get influenced, you get me? Mm. In a time of influencers, they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the influencer era. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think if, if you don't get a grip of them, you can. Why not? Okay, how about yourself, Dalhad? Mecca and Medina? Uh, where does your heart lie? Oh, oh, oh Broski. I left my hat in Medina. Well, I'm going back. I'm yeah. going back again. <laughs> I'm going back. 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 Medina is a different vibe. But yeah. I love Mecca. I love Mecca. Of course, Alhamdulillah. I love Mecca so much. But I think, feel like Mecca is um, it's busy. Busy. Zahma. Zahma, yeah. Mm. It's busy. You're kind of you're getting told to move a lot because it's very See busy. Me, I don't know, man. I like the chaos, man. I know you there's do. There's always something to do. <laughs> he loves the chaos. Yeah, the there's always like different walks of life. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. I had the afro back then, the curls, the cherry yeah. curls. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I you were just staring at me. Yeah, I'm just staring high. at them back. Like, I love you, act. Do you get it? Like we're both here. Do you know what I'm saying? Ah, that's just I me mean, personally, man. Yeah, but I'm what, Mecca. I mean, sorry, Medina. Mm. Oh, that place. It's Allah Mubarak Different Wallahi different I, I just kind of Wallahi I feel it When I'm when I'm See when I'm coming in Through the borders mm. Between Mecca and Medina Wallahi I start to feel That peacefulness in my heart Uqsim Billah mm. I come I, I stayed in I stayed in Ramadan Last Ramadan mm. Allah bless me I got to stay in uh, In Saudi for The whole month So last Ramadan Was your first time My first time Wow Akbar Yeah And I got Allah bless me I stayed in Ramadan oh, For the whole month Oh, Wallahi, I done Umrah four times, yeah? yeah. I'd go to Mecca, three, four hours, I'd bounce straight back to Medina. I'd do my Umrah, i go yeah. straight back to Medina. You're sitting there five days, and we were fasting back then. Mm. So it was a, yeah. Yeah, it was a mad experience. Mm. And you're just sitting in the circles of knowledge all day. Like you see this, the brothers there, Allahumma barik, the students of knowledge, they're sitting in the circles of knowledge all day, just following the shiuch, wherever they go, they're with them, subhanAllah. Mm. May Allah make them defenders of the sun. Amen. 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 So cool, let me ask you guys then. What would you say your goal is with seeking knowledge? Do you want to hit a certain place? Do you want to get to a certain level? Do you want to do something that benefit the people? Do you see an end to this or anything of the sort? Or like, yeah. Definitely, inshallah, inshallah ta'ala. Allah, my, my goal with seeking knowledge is yani, first lift, lift ignorance off myself and then the people. And then I want, like, I really want to you know, give da'wah not just to non Muslims. When people, when people say da'wah, everyone just thinks non Muslims, mm. but it's also to the Muslims as well. Mm. So it's to give, it's to bring the, the correct Islam that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions are upon, and bring that to non Muslims and, and the Muslims. Because mm. then you don't have to go through a process of going to reverse and say, oh no, no, don't listen to this guy, 
Don't listen to that guy. I won't say any names. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But inshallah, if you know, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. I think, I think we all, we all treasure that path, right? When we first started jumping here, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Allah guides us to look at the source. Alhamdulillah. I don't know yourself, Talha. Because I know your brother, Allah Mubarak. I'll be Barak Fiq. Allah Mubarak, he's a tank, man. I'll be Barak Fiq, bro. They didn't know we'll get him on the show, inshallah. 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 Wallah, he's here with seeking knowledge, bro. Um, it's a never ending cycle, Akhi. Mm. Like, there's scholars that have lived to their 80s and they're still seeking knowledge, and they're Allah Mubarak, they're prominent scholars. Till then, still seeking knowledge. So, I don't think he can ever, there's ever an end to seeking knowledge. Um, what you want to gain out of it though? Wallahi, till now I haven't figured it out yet. Of course, it's as Imam uh, Ahmed said, lift ignorance of oneself, lift mm. ignorance of other people, uh, and call to the deen of Allah. But and that's a wajib upon every Muslim, you know. Mm. So that's uh, how I'm gonna do it. Allah Alam. Yeah. <laughs> Allah Alam. Yeah. Who would know? Who would know? But seeking knowledge is a never-ending process. Right. Mm. I what what advice would you give to someone watching now, man? Wallahi, what advice? Like <laughs> Sign up sitting on the fence. Honestly, honestly, yeah. Like they, they. I'm just gonna tell them, oh, sign up to the knowledge college. <coughs> yeah, he's just trying to sell the knowledge college. Mm. But wallahi, akhi, the way you'll benefit of the knowledge college, it's literally called the program is literally called the Muslim Survival Guide. Mm. And subhanallah, that is the perfect way to name it. Yeah. That's you. That's what you need to survive. You cannot survive in this day and age as a Muslim without that information. The amount of doubts and desires, especially in the, the universities and colleges and schools. Yeah, definitely. Allah musta'an, like you know. I I think that's one thing that was like that was that was quite important, mm. and I remember I said this, I said I said this twice, one time when Ustad Abu Taymiyah, I think it was the second lesson or third lesson Kitab Tawheed, yeah. he asked that we benefit, and I said like, by the permission of Allah, like I feel like a better Muslim. Yeah, Subhanallah. Like, generally, do you know what I mean? One hundred percent. I think it was Ibn Jozi, rahimahullah, he brought in captured thoughts. Yeah. He said knowledge is like a doctor on your journey with you. Subhanallah. So while you're walking, you get sick. Yeah. You get a doctor on call. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You get it. So it's like, it's always there and it's like a companion for life. 100%. Like many a times you don't know what you will do. And one of the main, like one big and common thing, what mm. our brother mentioned in another episode, was like Westwesa. Yeah. So like Westwesa with wudu in terms of salah and stuff like that. You know, when we got to the Bab of Salah and we, we we found out the rulings pertaining to it and then when we done Qawai the Fiqiyya yeah. and we found out about Ghalib al and how that can't uplift shak yeah. you're like, yo, and you're like, yeah, alhamdulillah, you feel comfortable, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Definitely. So, Definitely. So yeah, it's, 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 Especially it's amazing with the, that you said well, that. Allah, uh, akhi, the, it's very good that you mentioned that, but what, what, I'm, I messed up, I don't know what I was going to go into. I can't freestyle it, bro, man. Huh? I'm really loving this conversation. I can't lie. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> like Allah um, fiq. On why you should seek knowledge. Yeah. Well, like these days, like especially this new day and age, as Stad Abu Taymiyyah, Hafizahullah, he likes to say the, the world's gone very colorful. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. world's gone very colorful. Yeah, Allah musta'an. But Allah, he like. You're seeing it, you're going into colleges, you're going into universities and all these places. Like, mm. it's a breeding grounds for atheism. Literally, breeding grounds, like, every sort of doubt and desire is in them places. And what's the what's what's going to protect you from that? So, like, someone could come to you with a, a shubha. Yeah. How are you going to protect yourself from that? Mm-hmm. If you don't have knowledge, if you're not seeking knowledge, how are you going to protect yourself from that? You can easily fall into kufr, Allah al-musta'al, like you get me? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah. if you don't grip yourself with this knowledge, if you don't shield yourself with this knowledge, this knowledge is like a shield around you. If you don't take it, Allah, you can get swept by the wolves easily. No, Allah al-musta'al. Definitely. And Jamal, Allah mubarak, we actually found on the Umrah trip that uh, you you reverted, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Allah, yeah, I'm back. Yeah. keep you steadfast. Uh-huh. And this is this is literally a brother who we spent two weeks with each other. And honestly, the way he carries himself, Allah, I'm back, and his manners, and and uh, just the just his, his aura, man. You know what I mean? Like Allah, he's a good vibe, man. I was I was shocked, and I'm thinking, like, Allah says he lifts the people, he lifts the people of knowledge to a higher place to get to a higher above yeah. above normal people, and it's like. May Allah keep us firm. But well, let me ask you guys a little controversial question before we go, right? Yeah. If you could take one thing away from the course, what would it be and why? 
<laughs> that was a heavy you can say a teacher man. will bleep him out. That's Don't a worry. heavy that hit. Is a heavy, bro. Well, one thing you have to take it away. What would it be and why? Do I have to say the could teacher? be a subject? It could be a teacher. You know what? It could Subhan- be a thing. Um, a feature. A feature on on that the setup. What would you say? Jamal first. Come re- re- rephrase that question one more time. If you could remove one thing, okay. not even if you could, you have to remove one thing. <laughs> do, do, does one it have thing. to be remove or does it can it be add? Do you want to add something? Oh yeah. What would you add? Me, I'd I'd add a restriction. Okay. On how you can teach. So okay. me, I'd use this study yes, as method of having the chat on one side and the book on one side and there is a, mm. a, a way of kind of... Uh, no annotating. N- n- not exactly. Mm. Exactly how study yes, does it. I, I believe if everyone does it the same way, everyone would love it. Mm. I believe that everyone would love it. I like the storytelling teachers. Yeah. 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 Person. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how about yourself, Jamal? If you could uh, remove to be, or add? To be honest, yeah. It would be add, yeah. Uh, it was meant to be in the course, but um, I'm not sure what happens. But like, uh, what well, I I, sig- um, I selected there, a specific day, maybe yani, on the weekend or something, and it's just a day where you can ask questions. Mm. Maybe that you didn't have time. The said didn't have time to answer in that class, or maybe it's a question that you had built built up, or yani, should have. Then if that day you can just ask that question to it instead. They have the fifteen minutes at the end, right? Yeah. yeah but you so think a lot of people bombard. Yeah, a lot of people bombard, and sometimes you don't get your question doesn't get answered. Mm. You gave me so if that one day sometimes it has question. to be a quick answer as yeah, well. Yeah, quick answer. Can't really go into the it's details. Like so you're like, like you're like a, a set day mm. where they teach, where they just answer question answers and no. yeah. I was thinking, uh, hopefully, I think in the new cohort, cohort they're gonna add more revision study classes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. not not with teachers, but beyond like just between the students. Well, be very good. Everyone like yeah. you know sharing I mean? notes and mm. exactly yeah. just on a Zoom with just like quick bang, <coughs> questions like that. It's a very good idea. Out, but yeah, man. Thank you guys for coming. Allah bless, bless, bless you friends. both. I love you both for the sake of Allah. Allah. And for you guys at home, if you feel like that was something that sparked a fire in your belly, that got you going, and you just you're you're yearning, you're you're sitting at the edge of the seat, yearning to start seeking knowledge, bidin Allah Taala, there will be a link in the description below for the Islamic studies pro- Islamic studies program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa tubiyik. Peace.